Welcome back guys, Last Meal here, let's talk about Fallout 4 in this video. Now, I got a lot of questions about the season pass, people are just asking me what is my opinion on it, and did I buy it, and uh, what do I think about the season pass getting more expensive for Fallout 4. Now, first of all, I hate season passes, I hate them so much, mostly because when you buy the season pass, you actually pay for a promise. They say, okay, there's going to be DLCs and you can pay us and you're going to get those DLCs at a lower price. You don't know what this is, you don't know if you're going to like it or not, but you pay money eventually. So, thing is guys, I did buy the season pass for Fallout 4, but uh, mostly because I'm going to record those videos anyway. And if I actually didn't um, play Fallout 4 this much, if I didn't um, focus my channel around it, I doubt that I would buy a season pass, mostly because I just like to see what I'm buying. It's always like that, guys. You always want to see what you're buying. If you're buying a, for example, console, for example, you're buying a PS4. Okay, this is a PS4, this is how it looks like. These are the specifications. Okay, I'm going to buy this. You're not buying a promise, you're buying a product. And that's basically um, a bad thing with these uh, season passes. You're not buying a product. You're buying a promise, that's what you're paying for, but some still, I'm going to give you my simple formula, advice, slash something for buying a season passes like this, especially the one for Fallout 4. Now, yes, it is true, you are going to um, save money by buying a season pass for Fallout 4, you're going to get um, 60 to 70 dollars of content for 30 dollars or if you buy after March 1st, you're going to get 60 to 70 dollars worth of content for 50 um, bucks. But uh, my advice to you guys is, do you want to buy every single DLC for Fallout 4? If you are 100% certain that you are going to buy every single DLC for Fallout 4, no matter how good or bad it is, then I recommend getting a season pass mostly because you're going to save money. But if you do have doubts, if you're going to buy a couple of DLCs only, if you're not going to buy the whole bundle, then I actually adv advise you guys to actually wait it out and uh, wait to see which DLC uh, is going to come out when and is it going to be good or bad, for example, if you're going to like it or not, then I would recommend buying uh, one DLC at a time because you're not certain if you're going to play all of them. But if you are certain that you're going to play every single DLC for Fallout 4, then I recommend getting a season pass because you are going to save money. Now again, I am not endorsing this product. Um, a lot of people think that um, Bethesda is paying me to say this. Actually, no. No one is paying me shit. And um, guys, um, I'm just trying to be helpful here. So basically, as I said, if you're really certain that you're going to buy every single DLC for Fallout 4, then definitely get a season pass because you're going to um, really save a lot of money on this thing. And if you're really going to do it, I would recommend doing it before the March 1st while it's still $30 and uh, when it becomes 50 then uh, there is a problem right there because it's not that cheap anymore but um, again if you have any doubts if you're not sure if you're going to buy every single DLC for Fallout 4 then I would wait it out and wait uh, for the DLCs to arrive first and then uh, see if I'm going to like it or not and maybe buy a couple of DLCs, not all of them, but um, still, that's how you have my channel for, so every DLC that comes out for Fallout 4, I'm going to cover it, I'm going to review it, and I'm going to give you my honest um, opinion about it, so you would know for certainty if you should buy this thing or not. Now again guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you think about all of this, and um, a, lot of, a lot of people think that um, Bethesda did a really... Um, dick moved because they actually increased the price of the of the season pass. I even said it in my videos that it was a dick move, but um, ah, come on, guys, the season pass really uh, it's like it's it's like it has its good sides and the bad sides, and it's like so hard to talk about this because um, you do save money, but still you're paying for a promise and. Uh, 
that's just me being honest here but again guys i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below and um don't forget to as i said smash that like and subscribe button so that you would be updated to all the fallout 4 news and that's it last meal signing out and stay classy everyone bye bye